got myself a new development phone. Uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in water ever, but it's supposed to be IP67 uh, protected, so theoretically you should be able to put it it's under one meter of water for half an hour and it should be fine. But I'm not sure if I'm confident in enough to test that. But anyway, this video is about how to debug on this device. I have some prob problems with that because I didn't remember that on Windows you actually have to install USB drivers and all that crap. So uh, let's go through that. First of all, disconnect your device. You don't want it to be connected while installing the drivers. So first of all, you need to, yeah, and you need to install the uh, Samsung Kies uh, synchronization application. I don't like installing these, but I think the USB debug driver is dependent on the actual Samsung Android uh, composite device as a host driver. So, uh, well, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm theorizing here, but yeah, first let's find the Samsung Kies Sorry, this isn't finished, but um, Yeah, basically just uh, uh, Just Google for Kies and Go to uh, in your language, that's in Finnish, that's uh, download the Windows version. Uh, yeah, basically just download that and then let's go to developer.samsung.com and search for uh, USB debug driver and tools. Nope. Let's try to. All right. Okay. Sorry. So go to developersamsung.com, then to develop, then to Android, tools and SDKs, and it's somewhere here. Let's see. On the second page, Samsung Android USB driver for Windows. And go ahead and get that, just download that whole thing. And first of all, as I said, uh, detect your device. Then uh, install the keys, then install the USB driver. And that's a zip package. But just unzip it and run the uh, included executable. And I've already done that. So next uh, on the device, device in the home screen click the menu go to settings and to more then go to about device and find build number I've already done that so I cannot show it because apparently there's no way to um, Disable it once you have enabled it, and I'm not going to reset my device because I just spent a couple of hours installing my apps and so on. So, but yeah, click multiple times on the build number like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think after first three clicks, it will tell you that click four more times 
to enable it. And once you've clicked seven times, uh, it will enable a new menu. Again, in the more or settings more tab, and then you will have the developer options. Then let's enable that. And the only thing you need to enable is the USB debugging. And that's it. After this, we'll connect our gay cable cable again. Like so. And at this point you oh yeah. It will then ask allow It will then ask when you, once you connect the cable that allow USB debugging. Just click OK, and it will connect it. And the second thing it will ask is the. Whoops! I just accidentally click that way. So once uh, for the first time when you connect in the cable, it will first ask if you want to allow the debugging, and then. Uh, it will ask for each machine, it will send an RSA key and ask uh, to get permission to debug with this PC. And if you're always using the same machine or you know that the machine is under your control always, you can just always allow this computer. And OK. Now you are connected. You can verify this by going to... I'll get my Eclipse here. And here we have the log cat output from the device. So that's it. You're ready to develop on the device. Oh, and uh, please subscribe if you want to know more about Android development or game development or do it yourself home product projects or something like that. I do videos about multiple kinds of things. So you might actually get kind of stupid videos also, which you are not interested in. But yeah, subscribe.